Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Sonic Music Releases, the series where I cover and talk about physically released Sonic music from over the years. Now today we have a very special, interesting, and rare piece of Sonic music that I am so happy to finally have in my collection. And that is simply called Sonic & Knuckles Sonic the Hedgehog 3. But I usually just refer to this as the Sonic & Knuckles arranged soundtrack. Now, this is the only thing close that we ever got to a soundtrack release of Sonic 3 & Knuckles. Of course, we had the Sonic 1 & 2 soundtrack published not too long ago that you can still find very easily, but we never got one for Sonic & Knuckles, or Sonic 3 & Knuckles. And I think that's because of how difficult it might be to get the rights to all of that music, because it wasn't just one composer, it was several, including Michael fucking Jackson. So, yeah, it makes it a little interesting. But, funnily enough, this doesn't even have any music from Sonic 3, even though it has Sonic the Hedgehog 3 printed on it, just Sonic and Knuckles. I'm assuming that was kind of like a promotional thing, you know, th this game, Sonic and Knuckles, was marketed very heavily as, hey, plug it on to Sonic 3, because that's, like, the whole game. That's only half of the game right there. Plug it on, and you got a whole big-ass game to play through. Probably just a promotional thing for it. But anyway, some info on it. It was released October 19th, 1994 in only Japan, which is a little strange, because it looks like it could honestly be released in America from the box art. In fact, I think years ago, when I saw how this looked, I actually thought it was an American release. But no, it is just Japan. This was published by Alpha Music under their GMO record imprint, which stands for Game Music Organization. I talked about imprints last episode, so if you didn't, um, you know, if you don't know what those are, go check out the Sonic the Fighters episode. Like, if a record company has a special project or unit or... In this case, it was like a normal record label, but, but then they made their own imprint for game and chiptune albums. And that's exactly what we have here, the Game Music Organization. It was all just, you know, for game music. But the Alpha Records Company, I believe they act, they put out, like, normal music in Japan. So I guess it's just to, you know, help people differentiate stuff from other releases they've put out. And the head company, Alpha Music, was actually Alpha Records at first. It just became Alpha Music eventually. And this was also distributed by Toshiba EMI, who I also talked about last episode. This retailed for 2300 Japanese yen, or roughly $21 by today's standards, which... Damn, I'd love to go back and just buy a couple. But anyway, let's take a look. Unfortunately, I do not have the obi for this. Um, I'm a, I'm a little disappointed in that, but that's okay. I'm I'm happy to just own this thing. Um, at first, I didn't even think it came with an obi, but I did find this one picture you'll see on the screen right now of it with the obi in the packaging, which um is good to know because I I couldn't even find pictures of it with the obi. I couldn't even fucking, does it come with an OB or not? I was, I was very confused. But anyway, looking at the booklet, which is really just a pamphlet, we have the Sonic and Knuckles, Sonic the Hedgehog 3 art, the Sega logo down there, and uh, the track list on the back and the name of it again. Opening it up, just uh, production notes and other things. We also have this. I'm not entirely sure what this is. It lo I, I hope it's not too bright on the screen. It looks like some kind of order form for something. Maybe to order more of their soundtracks in their GMO imprint label. I'm not entirely sure. We can also look on the back and see Art of Sonic and Knuckles, the name and the track list. So the reason I call this the arranged soundtrack is because that's what it is. It's a arranged Sonic and Knuckles soundtrack. What it, what it does, it has all these songs. They are arranged versions, not the actual chiptune versions from the game. Uh, and then, oddly enough, it has all of these, and then track 11, Sonic and Knuckles Remix. It's a medley of all of these songs, and then we also have Theme of Knuckles. Yeah, none of these are the actual in-game versions. If you want to take a listen to how they, uh, you know, sound, I'll be playing some of the music in the video, but you can also find it all on YouTube. And then, opening it up, we see, first of all, another... Music release with a not clear disc tray. And the disc for this is actually boring as hell. <laughs> the Sonic the Fighters one looked so cool, but this one's just so bland. It just says Sonic and Knuckles, Sonic the Hedgehog 3, GMO Records, and, uh, you know, that's, um, 
just copyright information. Yeah, very boring. Um, which is unfortunate, because it's, uh, it's a pretty cool release. Which leads me to what this bad boy is worth nowadays. I'd say anywhere from $80 to $150. There's one that's been sitting on eBay for $250, but it's been there for a long time, and I would never pay that much for it. Um, I actually got mine from Solaris Japan, which I talked about in the second episode of this series. Um, got it for around $70 before shipping, um, and I the shipping was a couple of units. Uh, as in, there were a couple products in that shipping order, so it's not like I just paid for like 20 bucks for shipping for just one item, thankfully. Um, but yeah, it's very, very uncommon, just like the Sonic the Fighters one. They're kind of similar in the sense that how they were released. They were both, you know, related to Toshiba EMI in some regard. Thankfully, there is no bootleg for this, so if you find one, it's going to be legit, unless someone got really good at doing homebrew bootlegs, <laughs> tried selling them, but uh, yeah. So if you're trying to go after this, um, good luck, because it's it's on the rarer side and not so common. I forgot to mention, uh, Alpha Music slash GMO Records, they also produced this Sonic the Hedgehog Remix CD. I'll probably be talking about this at some other point in time. Thanks for watching another episode of Sonic Music Releases, and I'll see you in the next one.